in a field. You are so washed out today. Burn the sheets off a bedroom. Throw that girl away. It's uh, 1230, 1228 a.m. Thursday night. I am feeling weird, bizarre, out of sorts, if you will. It's, it's been going on ever since I woke up this morning. And Woke up, not sick, no fever, no kind of sickness, not like that. I actually woke up in supreme health, got good sleep. I powered down about the zero 100 hours last night. I was probably snoozing by about 1 30, I'm sure. I slept straight through. Holy <coughs> Only one piss, and I woke up at 8.30. It's a lot of fucking sleep. The night before that, I got even more. I, I just blacked out uh, due to exhaustion, bludgeoned me to sleep, like around, again, like 1.30 or something the night before. I slept all the way straight through to like 11 or 12. And this thing that's been going on since last, really since last Friday. Yeah, last Friday it's been this this strange thing going on. Right, since I, I got up last uh, 
Thursday or Friday. And, you know, Friday's always my day, you know, but it's, it's double awesome Friday now because Friday is when I pick up my girlfriend and I get her and we spend the weekend together. And I woke up Friday and I wasn't sick. I was fairly healthy and pretty good. But I felt this fucking fatigue, this like unknown, like invisible fucking cobweb of ugh on me all fucking day. Shitty workout, the gym, everything. Got her, you know, had a nice great Friday night. But then Saturday fucking struck, man. It was like for no reason, you know, for no reason. She felt tired too. Sunday, same thing. Monday, same thing. Tuesday, same thing. Wednesday, same thing. Thursday, same thing. I need it to stop. I do because it's like it not only has it arrested my my physicalness, but it has also seemed to have engulfed my mentalness too. You know, I'm not forward thinking the past couple of days, man. I've been like not thinking. I've been like neutral thinking. I've been like, oh, stuck in the. I mean, I painted my face earlier today just out of protest. You know, it's fun. I was fucking tired after that, man. I know, I was supposed to be these heavy march energies and everything. But I'm fucking sick of them already, and I need them to stop. All right? You know, I, I, I'm i sorry if I displease you, the gods, they get mad at me, whatever. But I'm saying, all right, enough. I need a break from these energies. You know, and then I'm struck with my age-old, seemingly lifelong dilemma of I, I lack the ability. I lack the ability, the common sense ability, when I'm by myself, to just go. Hmm. The day's been a real bitch, and the night. Currently doesn't feel very great to be awake. It's late. Why not be smart and shut down? Close a file on this shitty, uh, energetic, paralyzing day. And move on because one thing I do notice I fell asleep outside in the sun today before that was cool I do notice though whenever I do park myself sit down and get the rest any rest I feel proportionately better back to normal afterwards but it just keeps wearing off you know I did these uh Bowie videos on TikTok right This night. That's one of my favorite uh, bowies, especially for wrecking around backyard, doing whatever, abusing, because it was only like $25, $28. Cold steel, black bear bowie, vicious motherfucker. Okay? Tough as shit. 12 inch blade okay sharper than a lightsaber especially when you sharpen it yourself plus yeah it's sharp on the swag already right from the factory it's got a nice sharp edge there and that's rare to find okay great great balance you know it's very fast you know that back up one two great for a fighting bowie great for you know the wood, survival, ever, everything, you know, you, you name it, plus everyone forgets. Not only for man, man and beast, this will save you from. All right, so anyway, so what I did for the TikTok video is I took this, I've done this before, I've got an old swing set in the backyard, no more swings, just the chains, 
And so I altered this sheath like I do almost every sheath I get when I buy a knife uh, with all my knives that I own. Um, and I alter them for for my use, my practice. But most of them aren't made correctly. And, you know, so let me show you real quick. Like this, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite best bowies now. This is the uh, Cold Steel Wild West uh, Bowie. This is a beauty 10 inch blade. It's not sharp on a swag, but it's close enough. It'll still work, believe me. Okay, it's not much heavier than this one. But what I did is I altered this. I I bent up the uh, other guards. That's how I like them. How I uh, my preference. Okay. So anyway, so this sheath, traditional sheath, they give you is the, the drop along doodad motherfucker. I hate. Okay, because you, you put it on your belt and it's down there by your shin somewhere. You know. I guess this is good for some good old boys and good old people just out la 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 hiding around, but not for me. All right. Uh, I prefer inside the waistband carry, even for Bowies. I've carried IWB uh, sheaths with 11 inch Bowies before, uh, blade, not counting the handle, and people didn't even know you were on insurance. But what you can do with this, you can, you can switch this to it inside the waistband and, and, and use it for your belt. Turn it around so it's reverse grip carry, which is how you should carry. Uh, your knife, the strong side if you're serious about fast deployment and correct deployment. Okay, so you can, you can put this down inside your waistband if you want or not. And then you can take this loop and you can use this and loop your belt through it. Now, now you got a you know real good IWB bin that's secure. It won't pull the sheet out when you pull a knife. You know, and it goes along with the anatomy of your leg. Bending and sitting, you know, you angle it and you can even, if you want to be super criminal about it, you can, you can conceal it or with sweat jacket. But anyway, so the, the video I was doing for, for, um, TikTok, instead of dancing videos, it wasn't even this, this knife, I didn't use this one. I didn't use this one for getting up and I had gallon jugs of water filled with water tied to the chain I'd get it and then I swing it so it comes back at my head boom I get hit probably knock me out or fucking break my nose or something so I altered this sheath came same thing drop along because look regular regular carry the way they give it to you with the drawn back like this where you pull the knife out like this a regular spender carry for right way. Put it here. Now look. This doesn't take much to figure out. Look, this is awkward. This is not correct. This is an awkward body movement. Especially if you're talking about the heat of the moment. Whether you're being charged by a fucking... A pit bull. A Rottweiler. A bear. A person. You know, whatever. The arm doesn't... Won't clear doesn't clear it. You really got to be fucked up to do get it. Now, reverse grip. I took it. I glued it. Hot glued it. I bent it over. Put it for reverse grip. And I even canted it a little bit. So, if I want to put it inside the waistband, I can. But I'm not for right now. All right, this fits nice. Right there. Okay, I canted it just a little bit. So I get that little bit of an angle. So when I sit down or move around, it's not in the way. But even more important, it angles it perfectly to where my hand is. When I pull my hand up naturally, it meets meets the handle. So you can side here. And I just go, and it's straight, but from when I came through it, I, I can leave it like that. But even straight, okay. Handles right there. I can't it. Yeah. So what I did, what's more quicker? This or more effective 
reverse grip. And you're eating the business end of that quick. Okay, it's just natural. So that's what I was doing for the fucking water bottles. Right? Which right, so I have right here. I got 10 of them for tomorrow. And I even got uh, some simply orange ones. It's even harder. And then I got the gallon. So I tie this up with my little wire thing. And that. I swung them, and it's recording the very first one. No warm-ups for the whole season. I didn't warm up. I haven't done it since last year. Ran it live anyway. Tom, I missed. Fuck! I missed a dry tank. Boom! Miss. Fuck! I got mad. I walked around it again. It was still rolling. I saw I had 20 seconds left. I saw it, and this went Phew! Flashed it in half. And then I felt like a chump, you know, so I couldn't get it. So I went back and I did it like three more videos and I missed it every fucking time. But I left it up because that's real. I mean, you can't just put up what you get. But then I hit, you know, did some back cuts and that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm probably going to make them for the Rogue Combative channel like I did the sharpening. I'm sharpening a bowie for my Rogue Combative channel. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to hang up all 10 of them, whether it's tomorrow or over the weekend. Maybe I can get some help. My girlfriend can film them. That way everything's not stuck from one tripod angle. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show the devastating power of a one quick back cut and how it will explode a water bottle. And then how out of my six count back cut flow drill, which is here real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. How it can pop a explode a bottle with each one of them with just the tip and the back part of the clip for the back cut someone asked a question on the comment thing the other day you know can you can you just simply back cut like this well sure you can you know jim bowie even did a few of those oh, boy that's a devastating back cut but you're missing the point the point on the back cut is you're saving your primary edge by doing all the damage with this edge and the point and it's much faster and then you even have the blind back cut, the blind spot back cut, which I'll show another tape, which is you got to hear, you throw your initial blind cut up and out into your target's blind spot. And when that point is up in there, before he even knows what's going down, you're ripping across the face. So, you know, I don't know how that turned into a half Bowie uh, video. And I'm also, while I'm at it, Tomorrow or the weekend, somewhere I'm going to get it. I'm going to start teaching the double Bowie knife sets. Starting with the generic opening. You can do anywhere. You see I'm doing it right here. Generic opening is like this. All four directions. And then you start set number one. Set number one, cut, block. That's set number one. So there's several of the sets I'm gonna do on. Different tapes are gonna be all on the rope and batter channel. So this will be on the Jason Moa channel. If you like it, check that out. I haven't put videos up in that in like seven months. I put a new one up today or yesterday. But the uh, how to sharpen a bowie. I'm going to be putting more up. I was surprised I got a handful of little subscribers. And I haven't even did nothing to the channel in seven months. So now I owe it to them. And I'm looking forward to putting them in a lot of more short stuff. And some just training classes too. Like I would be training an individual. Real combatives is just for adult private lessons only. Uh, custom lessons uh, at the person's house or outside, preferably outdoors. It's more realistic because that's where you're going to be in a fight. And you got to learn to train your shoes and your pants and your stuff, not in your dojo uniform and bare feet you know, on, the, on the mats. That's nice and all. I come from that. A realistic is training in clothes and shit that you wear. People I train, they pull up, clothes they're wearing, they come over and we fully train, we spar, we do everything nice spar. 
There is a, um, the only uniform I have is my road combative shirt. All new members wear a gray one. I wear a black one. When you get to black belt level, you get the black shirt, you earn that. That takes about 16 months anyway. Only one person has earned it so far. That's enough talking for all of this Thursday night. Feels so much better. Uh, hopefully I'll be dancing again soon. Friday nights tomorrow. Just do what the fuck you got to do. Day in, day out. And last but not least, remember this rule in life. You don't have to like it. You just have to do it. Whatever it is in life. You don't have to like it. You just have to do it. Leave it at that. Us.